And if there is one name the Eurovision fandom has been screaming about from this for this Eurovision season since it became known who's going to compete, this is one of them. Uh, Daughter doesn't need any introduction. She has done this Melfest competition three times. She did it in 2018, 2020, and 2021. I mean, um, I mean, I'm gonna say I think the Eurovision fandom has given her the bulletproof. That is her. That is her staple song in this competition. I love that song still. It. I mean, sure, the mamas won, but if she won, I would be equally happy. It was one point that was separating them both, so she was so she, she was so close to winning. Um. Yeah. So, but I think the song she 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 had a good start with "Cry." That was a very artistic song, like six years ago and then she had bulletproof that was her you know moment i love that song i think little thought she came afterwards was eh, she only qualified because she was who she was that was that was a song i, I have not listened to that song in years in almost in two years i have not listened to the songs in the contest so it it is not easy to write a love song by daughter and uh, what do I expect? Um, I don't hope she doesn't do a do bulletproof point on two point oh because she can never do a bulletproof moment with that kind of song. So I have no idea who what she's gonna bring. So, daughter, are you living up for the expectations? Let's watch. Ah, okay. Wow, this is better than Little Tall for sure. I'm gonna say this song sounds sounds very promising so far. Okay. Oh, thank God. Miss Thing. <laughs> I'm gonna say Miss Thing. You might win this competition this time. This is a good song. This is very solid. This is a good song. Ooh, yes, Doctor, that is a song to sing. Uh, yeah, she wins this year. <coughs> I don't need to say much more. I think this is a very strong song by Doctor. Is it bulletproof? No. But is it. If you're gonna rank this song in order, this is her second best song. This is this is right up there with Bulletproof. This could be a moment, and since we know she can do very artistic performances, I have high expectations on the staging for her. I mean, I'm gonna say, I think this song is so solid and so good. And uh, I know many people out there have been waiting for Daughter to come release her song. And because I was like, yeah, if there were two people in this Melfest season, I was like, if they have the correct song, the win this. And one of those acts were Smashing the Pieces, who qualified from the first hit. I did not, I didn't think the song was strong enough to win. And then it was Daughter. I mean, sure, we have other returning artists coming soon, but. I think Daughter had the biggest fan favorite pressure from the Eurovision fandom to qualify and to win and represent Sweden. Do I think she can represent Sweden? Uh, yeah, I think she can win this one. I mean, I am very positive to this snippet of Daughter and um, yeah, I can say if she nails the performance on Saturday, uh, she wins this year. She wins this year. I think People have been waiting for her to come back, and I think, I mean, I just hope, praise the God, that the international jury gave her high score, because I think many people have been waiting for her to come back, and this is a good return, so, good one, daughter, let's see how this goes. <laughs>